Hi, welcome to this video from the 5 Minute Exam English channel. On this channel, I make videos for people who are getting ready for different English exams. In this video, I'm going to answer five questions that people ask me about the Duolingo English test. So here's question number one. What does my practice score mean? Well, imagine that someone has taken the practice test and they get a score of 90 to 110. But what does that mean? Is it good? Is it bad? Well, to answer that question, I suggest that you go to Duolingo's website. The website has a page in which Duolingo scores are compared to IELTS scores and the Common European Framework Reference. The CEFR describes six different levels of language ability, from A1, which is beginner, to C2, which is more or less the same as a native speaker. So that, I would say, is the best place to start if you want to understand your Duolingo score. Question number two. Can I use Grammarly? OK, there's a simple answer, no. And Duolingo can block Grammarly or similar add-ons, so don't try to use it. Question number three. How can I recognise real English words? Well, when people ask this question, they're talking about that part of the exam where you have to identify real English words from fake words. There's um, a written part and an audio part. Now, my suggestion is do a lot of reading and writing. I know that's a boring um, answer, but it's a good answer. But I'm not talking about reading and listening from an English course book or a video like this. I'm talking about reading, listening and watching for fun. It's amazing how much more you will pick up if you're using English for enjoyment. And also, uh, when you read, you are likely to improve your spelling as well. So if your spelling is good, you'll be able to um, pick up those written words that are almost correct, but contain a very small mistake. Question number four. I have problems with the listen and write part. What can I do? Well, in this part of the test, you listen to an audio and you have to write down what you can hear. It's not easy, so I recommend this. When you listen for the first time, you should focus on the key words like verbs, nouns and maybe adjectives. When you listen for the second and third time, you can then concentrate more on those small words like prepositions and articles. Also, if you want to practice for this part of the test, I recommend that you go online and you try some dictation exercises. Dictation exercises will give you good practice of listening and writing down what you can hear. Question number five. Am I ready to take the test? It's a difficult question, but let me try to answer. Let's say you want to get 125 in the real exam. Well, I recommend that you try the practice test a few times. When it comes to the speaking and writing sections, experiment, try some different answers, see what happens. Now, I know that the practice test doesn't give you a precise score, but have a look at all your practice test results. If your maximum predicted score is always above the score you want, like 125, then yes, I would say you're ready to take the test. If you're still not sure, then why not try some free English practice tests that you can find on the internet. If you do some of these, they might identify some weak points that you have. 
We've now come to the end of this video from the 5 Minute Exam English channel. I hope you liked it and I hope it was useful for you.